The dog, with scars and blood marring his face, suddenly lunges at the people in the car. The mother quickly shuts the window. Despite her efforts, the dog continues his assault on the open door. After multiple failed attempts, he leaps onto the car roof, desperately scratching and clawing the windows, causing the people inside to scream in horror. No one expects their neighbor's dog, Kyujo, to attack people suddenly. Kyujo is a Saint Bernard dog. Despite being intimidating due to his size, he is extremely docile and playful. He has been living on a large farm with his mechanic family. While Kyujo is roaming outside that day, a hare suddenly captures his attention. Driven by his playful instincts, he begins to chase it through the woods. Eventually, the hare darts into a small concealed hole, prompting Kyujo to follow eagerly. However, due to his size, his head becomes wedged as he enters. His noisy barking quickly disturbs the bats, leading to him being bitten on the head and fleeing. Elsewhere in the town, Tad gets ready to sleep, but as a little boy, he gets chills upon seeing the ajar closet door. Mustering his courage, Tad carefully closes the door and dashes over to his bed, covering himself. However, the door opens itself again. Strange humming sounds fill the room, prompting the boy to scream. His parents soon rush to his room to investigate what's going on. Tad tells them he's seen a monster with red eyes and sharp teeth, but the adults claim it only exists in stories and leave him to sleep alone again. The boy spends the whole night murmuring about the monster, and eventually, he stacks all the furniture to block the closet door. Their neighbor Dean visits the house during their breakfast and brings Tad a horse as a gift. Everyone is happy to see Dean, except the mother, Donna, who seems to be in a trance. In the afternoon, Tad's father, Jim, drives to a nearby repair shop to fix his car, but the owner is too occupied to help him. In a moment of frustration, the mailman suggests he go to another shop just six miles away, where the owner, Joe, is skilled and charges reasonable prices. Jim takes his wife and son to the garage shortly after, where Joe greets them warmly. Donna wanders around the area and comes across Joe's wife, but she immediately feels trance-like again upon seeing the woman being a housewife. Just at that moment, Kyujo happily returns, his fluffy ears swaying in the air. Donna instinctively grabs Tad to avoid the big dog, but Joe and his son assure them that Kyujo is safe and friendly with the kids. Tad is instantly drawn to Kyujo. He pets the dog, and Kyujo responds in kind. Night falls, and Jim holds Tad in his arms, searching the room for any signs of a monster, assuring him that no monster will ever come. The following day, Jim wakes up to find that the sharp cereal has caused all the children to vomit, and the commercials he's in charge of are still playing all over the TV, causing Jim to panic. However, Donna doesn't believe it and simply brushes her husband off. As usual, once Jim leaves home, she goes over to Dean's house and conducts their business there. Jim vaguely senses that something is wrong with his wife but never confronts her. Until one day, when he picks up Tad from school, he sees Donna in a heated exchange with Dean by the roadside. He turns his car around to confront her, but it's too late. They have already distanced themselves. On the other hand, Kyujo gradually weakens, lying lifeless outside with flies swarming around his wound. The clanging sound of the electro welding gets on his nerves, prompting him to run away. By nighttime, Kyujo's condition has worsened. Hearing the strident sound of Joe's car returning, Kyujo is immediately alerted and walks toward the house to greet Joe, just as he usually does. However, his eyes have turned red, and white discharge flows from his nose, not wanting to frighten them away. Kyujo secretly hides in another place. Joe becomes enraged when he discovers his wife has purchased a welding machine without his permission. However, upon learning that she has won the lottery, he agrees to let her and their son leave to visit relatives for a week. Later, he takes Kyujo with him to visit his best friend, both men harboring inappropriate intentions. Kyujo overhears everything but is too weak to warn the woman. The next day, when Jim picks up Tad and returns home, he finally catches Donna having an affair with Dean, his best friend. To clear his mind, Jim decides to leave home for a 10-day business trip to address his commercial troubles. Tad worries that the monster will return for him, but Jim assures the boy that he'll write down protective spells and post them in his room to ward off the monster before he departs. Tad finally sleeps peacefully after a long time, unaware that a real monster is about to invade his worst nightmares. Joe's son wakes up early to pack his bags. As he ventures outside searching for his beloved dog, he discovers that Kyujo's eyes have turned completely red, and a white discharge is oozing from his face. Kyujo barks aggressively at him, but with the boy's reassurance, the dog retreats quietly. The boy rushes home to alert his mother about Kyujo's condition, but she dismisses it, and they depart for their trip. Kyujo wanders helplessly in the street and catches the attention of their neighbor. Knowing that the man has never been friendly to him, Kyujo growls, scaring him away. The dog quickly charges toward him, knocking him down. However, the man's harsh words only provoke Kyujo further. With a steady gaze into the man's eyes, Kyujo breaks into his house, attacking and killing him before he can draw his gun. Meanwhile, Joe calls out for Kyujo in the streets but can't locate him. Frustrated, 
He leaves food out for him and heads to his best friend's house. Upon arrival, Joe is shocked to find the door torn apart and bloodstains outside. As he steps inside to investigate, he discovers his friend dead, his throat brutally torn open. Before he can react or call the police, Kyujo suddenly appears and kills him on the spot. Later in the afternoon, Donna takes Tad to the garage to have her car fixed, as Jim had instructed her to do. Upon arrival, Donna feels uneasy about the desolate surroundings. She returns to the car to help Tad with his seatbelt, and suddenly, Kyujo lunges at them with a bloodied face. Donna struggles to close the window with all her strength, but Kyujo persists and moves to the other side of the car. Attempting to open it, the sudden attack terrifies Tad, who repeatedly claims that he had seen Kyujo, the monster, in his closet before. After several unsuccessful attempts, Kyujo finally backs off and walks away. Donna immediately tries to start the car, but luck is not on their side as it breaks down completely. The mother and son remain trapped in the car for the next few hours, not daring to step outside as Kyujo keeps watch nearby. Tad's patience wears thin, and he urges his mother to try starting the car again. The sound of the car starting immediately grabs Kyujo's attention, and he rushes toward the vehicle. Donna gives Kyujo a hostile stare as she drives away, but their car unexpectedly loses power. The sun's searing heat intensifies, affecting both the ground and their car's interior. Donna is reluctant to move with Kyujo's gaze fixed on them. Meanwhile, Jim becomes increasingly worried about their well-being and repeatedly calls home. Receiving no response, Kyujo remains by their car throughout the night, patiently waiting for his chance. Just then, the sudden ringing of a phone gets on his nerves once more, prompting him to investigate. The next morning, Donna wakes up to find Kyujo staring at her hungrily. She surveys their surroundings and spots a bat lying on the ground, wondering if she can use it to distract the dog. Tad is thirsty, but Donna forbids him from drinking the little water they have left, suggesting they wait for the mailman to arrive. Unbeknownst to them, the mailman has been instructed not to make deliveries that day. The echoing phone ringing drives Kyujo to madness once more. He dashes over, forcefully striking the car door with his head. Bloodstains start to accumulate on the door as he relentlessly attacks. He cracks through the window, fiercely attempting to bite them to death. Inside the car, temperatures continue to rise, and Tad becomes increasingly dehydrated. Donna gathers her courage, breaks open the door and steps out of the car. Unaware that Kyujo is right behind her, he lunges at her, sinking his teeth into her leg. In desperation, Donna wields the water bottle as a weapon, striking his head and forcing him to retreat momentarily. Meanwhile, Jim decides to cut his business trip short and return home since he can't reach his family. Upon his arrival, he finds their house in disarray and promptly reports it to the police. Upon discovering a torn-up picture of Donna, the police suspect Dean, Donna's lover, of kidnapping both her and Tad. They also learn that Donna went to Joe's garage and sent an officer to investigate. The officer arrives at the garage, confidently stepping out of his car, unaware of the impending danger, as he notices significant bloodstains on a car and approaches to investigate. Kyujo lunges at him and takes him down within seconds, driven by his hunger for prey. Another few days pass, and Tad's consciousness begins to wane as his heartbeat weakens. Realizing that she's losing her son, Donna leaves the car searching for water. She seizes the bat, engaging in a battle with the insane Kyujo. As Kyujo prepares to deliver a fatal bite, Donna manages to thrust a knife into his stomach, causing the dog to close his eyes. Donna swiftly carries Tad to the house in search of water. With her care, he slowly begins to recover. However, just as they believe their ordeal is over, Kyujo breaks through the window, poised to deliver his final deadly attack. In a state of desperation, Donna seizes the gun and fires it. The resounding gunshot echoes in the air just as Jim arrives, realizing that his wife and son have just endured the most terrifying monster nightmare of their lives. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance, Adam.